Hello and welcome to this Niagara video. Uh, in here we're going to talk about how to animate a Niagara system uh, on the level sequencer. So you can control it during cinematics and other things. So let's jump straight in. So here we are in Unreal 5.2. So if there's a little bit of differences in the UI, that's why. Uh, for example, Niagara system is blue. For some reason, I don't know why, I might have made it blue. Um, but yeah, so we can click on Niagara system here and create a new Niagara. Uh, we can create an empty one and we'll call it end stream. And we do a very simple uh Niagara effect for our purpose today um, by creating a new emitter. And I'm going to go to the fountain, okay, the, the pre built fountain one here. Now, at the moment, the fountain is spawning a number of particles on the spawn rate. And you see spawn right here is 90. Okay. So this is how many particles it's going to spawn over the space of one second. So what I'm going to do is I'll make this a variable that we can use and animate inside of our sequencer. So let's go to user parameters. If you don't see this window here, you can access it through window up here and use the parameters. I'm going to go to plus and we're going to add a float. And we'll call this one my spawn rate. And we'll set the default of that to 90. So the same as this value is currently. Now to make it use our custom parameter, we go over to where it says spawn rate. And on the right hand side, we hit a little down arrow and search for my spawn rate and you should see here a user parameter called my spawn rate click on that and now we've got that in there now i can control the spawn rate by tweaking this number down and up to decrease and increase the amount coming out of our fountain here now that's all well and good but let's see if we can animate this inside of our editor so let's first of all put our stream into our uh, scene here and let's go and create the sequencer so we go up here to clap the clapboard icon we go add level sequence we'll just name it animating niagara and inside our sequencer tab down here we're going to click on our stream particles go to add track Act to the sequence and add end stream. Now it's going to add it to our sequence of tracks down here. We can then go ahead to the track icon, click this, and now we can access it directly the Niagara component. So you go down here to Niagara component and select this. That gets us the actual Niagara system inside of the actor that we place into our scene. We're then going to click on the add track button for the component and in here at the top you'll see tracks and you should see your user parameter as a my spawn rate parameter track you can click on this and now we can add our parameter to the animation track here so let's add a key start here for zero and we're going to pull that along to 90 there and I'm going to increase this to 120. So what's going to happen here is the stream is going to get more and more powerful and eventually speed up to its full speed. And obviously we can make it go back down as well. We can fluctuate it however we want. So I'm going to add, change this value down to 30 and add a keyframe for that as well. So we've got a full animation for our parameter. And there you go. And this can be used for many other things inside our Niagara system. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Niagara effect. And next we're going to go to is the color option. So in the color scale, We've got it going on here. We're scaling the RGB by 111. I want to change this 
to a parameter. So you're going to add in here a vector. And in fact, can we do color straight away? Yeah, we'll do linear color. There we go. And we'll just rename that to my color. And we're then going to want to use this on our vector here. So first of all, we have to convert the vector to a color. So click on our little arrow here and type in color. And you'll see make vector from linear color RGB. We'll click on that. And now we've got the color option appearing here. I can now click on this and I can search for my color. And there you go. Click on that. And hit save. I can now close this go into my sequencer, add another track, and you'll see my color appear as a parameter track. We can now click on this to assign new values. And you can see your RGB values are being assigned to this. Um, so we've got one, we'll go up to here, and we'll change that down to zero. Zero, so it's red. And then move it along. We'll change the color again. Make it uh, green. And I go again up here. We'll make it blue. So we can actually change color as well as spawn rate over time as well. And there you go. So you can actually animate any parameter you have on your Niagara system. And you also change various other things about your Niagara system inside the sequencer. You just click on the component, click track, and you can see, and it, for example, a lot of the things that you can turn off and on and tweak in the sequencer. So experiment, play around, and see how you get on with that. Um, I say lots of cool things you can do with this. It's exciting to play about with, and you can do some pretty neat stuff. But there you go. So there you go. We can now control it via the level sequencer. And there's, as you saw, loads of options where you can control Niagara systems in all sorts of ways. So do experiment and see what you can try and come up with. If you like this video and want to see more Niagara videos and more videos in general, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where your donation helps the channel out massively and you get access to all our videos early before anyone else. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.